Hey guys, it's Carrie. Welcome or welcome back to my channel, Carrie's Collections. Happy Monday. Hope y'all had a wonderful day today. It is time for part two of All About the Empties from last month, November. Um, I had said in my video yesterday in part one that this empties is going to be very long. <laughs> um, three-parter, maybe four, but I'm gonna try to squeeze it into three. Um, I uploaded part one yesterday. Hope you were able to catch that. So tonight it is part two and we are still on wax. I mean, this bag is full. <laughs> I mean, oh, I went through so much wax in November and then I still have candles that I emptied out, some body care, so it's gonna be a long one. So I hope you will bear with me and um, and be here for all of it. So let's just get into this. We're just gonna continue with some wax. So here we go. All right, no rhyme or reason. I'm just pulling things out of the bag and we'll see what we get when we get it. <laughs> okay, so this right here, this was a sample that I got from Crystal from Rainbow Melts. Um, this was a huge snowflake. I mean, huge. I think, I want to say I got like six good melts out of this. It was so big. Um, the scent was Snuggle Under the Mistletoe. It was Snuggle, Mistletoe, and Vanilla Bean Noel. So, oh yeah, I can still smell it in the bag. It's so strong. Um, so I'm kind of like, I feel like I'm wishy-washy with laundry scents. You know, sometimes I like them, other times I'm just not in the mood for them. And when I do laundry scents, they just kind of have to be done a certain way. Otherwise, I just feel like my whole house smells like laundry detergent and I really don't want that. But this was really, really, really good. Um, I'm not really sure what her mistletoe is, but I'm assuming it was some kind of like pine or balsam or Christmas tree because I got that in this, but it was like, it wasn't, you know, a really strong, like astringent Christmas tree smell because that snuggle and that vanilla bean just, oh, just added such a softness to it. I really, really enjoyed this. And I'm telling you, I know there's been some drama with rainbow melts. Um, I will order again from her. I really, because her stuff is just phenomenal and just blows the roof off my place. So, um, yeah, I really enjoyed that one. Okay, this right here, this uh, was a clamshell from a company. She's not on Etsy. Um, I don't even remember how I came across her. Maybe on Facebook. Um, but the company is From the Hive. And Jessica, sweet, sweet Jessica is the owner. And I haven't ordered from Jessica in a while, but I really, really need to because who she is a one woman show. Um, her stuff is amazing. Again, the company is from the hive and this was a clamshell in Alpine cheer. I believe I ordered this last Christmas. Um, yeah. Ooh. Her stuff is so strong, so strong on cold, just as strong on warm. Um, this was a great Christmas tree scent, but I, again, like with that other one, like it just wasn't hit you in the face pine, because sometimes that cannot be pleasant. It was just, I don't know what else um, she had in this, because she doesn't put scent notes on the front, but it was a soft Christmas tree scent, but strong. And her stuff, um, last multiple days in my warmers. So I definitely need to place another order from her. Um, yeah, and I would encourage y'all to do that as well. From the Hive, owner is Jessica, sweet, sweet girl. Okay, this was a bunt from my L3 Waxy Wonders sampler that I got several months ago, the Girl Scout sampler. And this was Thin Mints, crisp chocolate cookies with a minty coating. And um, yeah, so I really enjoyed this. There were some of my bunts in that Girl Scout sampler that 
I could hardly smell. Like I was just really, really sad, but this one was a powerhouse. Um, very, very minty and the chocolate did come through, but yeah, it was good. Very strong. Um, okay, this one um, was Savannah Blue. Again, with Savannah Blue, I placed my order with Savannah Blue back before I started um, doing videos, so I wasn't able to do like an initial haul. But you know, the stuff that I have melted from Savannah Blue, I'm really in enjoying. In fact, I'm melting something from her right now in my kitchen. I think it's like a gingerbread scent, and like her little pour thing is on the back and this one was poured October of 21 and it said to melt after November of 21 so well over a year old but this was a pink peppermint which was pink sugar and peppermint and it was like a little mini loaf I loved it it was so strong to be over a year old so another vendor that I need to uh, place another order with is Savannah Blue Okay, this was, what was this? This was a waffle shape from Little Blue Coop. That's on Etsy. And this was pumpkin pecan waffles. Um, you know, I, I really enjoyed the things I got from Little Blue Coop. Um, there were a few things that were really, really light, but other things that were really nice and strong. This PPW was okay. It wasn't, you know, the strongest pumpkin pecan waffles I've ever had. I blended this with some other PPWs that I had um, just to kind of amp up the, you know, the smell a little bit. Um, yeah, so it was okay. And, you know, this one was poured, what does that say, August of 21. So this was also a year old. Um, so it wasn't super strong, but it was all right. This right here was a sample from the pharmacist's daughter. I think it was a little bunch shape in peppermint. Okay, I've said it before, I'll say it again. The pharmacist's daughter is in my top three vendors. <sighs> love, love the pharmacist's daughter. Their stuff throws like crazy in my house in their peppermint. Oh my gosh, I have um, something that I ordered from them in my last haul, it was like a peppermint mocha that I haven't melted yet. I might be melting it um, this month for Christmas because their peppermint oil is insanely strong. So this was good, very, very strong. All right, um, okay, a clamshell from Dexter Pours in pumpkin pecan waffles. Um, you know, I said in my video yesterday um, that I don't know what happened to them. And I'm kind of sad because I really have enjoyed the things that I melted from Dexter Pores. This was a really good PPW. Um, not the strongest that I've ever had, but it's up there. Like, it, I did not have to mix this with anything. It was super strong on its own, so I really enjoyed that. Okay, this company is one that I found on Etsy last year, I believe. Um, it is Scotland Scents. Not Scotland, not like the country. <laughs> it's S-C-O-T-L-I-N, Scotland scents. They are on Etsy. Um, and this was a clamshell in Hillbilly Mistletoe. And yeah, I've got some others, I think in this bag maybe, from Scotland scents. Um, I placed my order with them last holiday season, so a lot of the things I got from them were holiday scents. This one was really good. It was um, a Christmas tree scent. Okay, so I'm seeing that a lot of vendors have mistletoe. I don't know what is in the mistletoe oil. I'm assuming it's some kind of like Christmas tree pine because when I smell it, that's what I'm smelling. But this was good. Yeah, it was nice and strong. Okay, this was a trig tart from L3 in pumpkin pecan waffles. Um, you know, I'm kind of sad because I've seen other videos where people have talked about um, L3's PPW and how strong it is. I don't know, you know, if maybe I waited too long. I mean, I haven't had this for that long. I wouldn't think that it would like lose its scent. 
I've had this maybe, you know, several months, and I don't think wax loses its scent in that amount of time. Um, or maybe I my warmers were the wrong ones, but I just didn't get like the greatest performance from this. It was okay. It was just light. So I'm not sure I would repurchase the PPW. I might get it like in a blend, but probably not on its own. Okay, this right here, this was something I ordered from that Smell Good shop. Um, and it was Celtic Moon Spice. And this was her, uh, what did she call it? Like her tart oil, I believe. Um, so basically it was just a little, let's see, what's the weight on this? One ounce. So just like a little one ounce container of like oil. Um, I guess that's what you call it. She called it tart oil that you just can like put in your warmer. Um, and it was, yeah, whew, it was good. Um, let's see. I'm gonna see what the directions say. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, you just squirt some drops in your warmers and Celtic Moon Spice, I'm a fan of that. And I love the Smell Good Shop, so that was a win-win. Okay, uh, speaking of that Smell Good Shop, I have two little scent shots here. This one was PPW. Oh, I will always, always order her PPW. One of the best ones. So good. And this was um, this was a new one for me that I had never ordered um, before. But that smell good shop. It was Michael Myers cinnamon glazed orange. Um, I do like orange scents, but I like them more around the holidays. Um, you know, around Christmas time. I've mentioned that I love to plug oranges up with cloves. So this wasn't necessarily a clove scented orange it was cinnamon but it was close enough and i really enjoyed that uh this is retail wax from walmart sensationals in perfectly pine now this one is i want to say a year old maybe two i came across this when i was cleaning out some drawers um because somehow it got stuck in just a random drawer it wasn't with my other wax and i was like oh my gosh um I have had this forever and I was really scared to use it because I was like, is it going to, you know, smell good? I, and it did. I mean, to be one or two years old, it still smelled great. Um, great Christmas tree scent. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, went through this clamshell from Aldi. This was pumpkin apple fritter. If you saw my haul from uh, my Aldi melts, you guys, I love me some Aldi wax melts. And I'm kind of sad because I haven't been up there this holiday season to see what Christmas melts they have. I need to do that. I may even do that tomorrow. <laughs> um, because these at Aldi go for like $1.89. I mean, they're cheaper than $2. And they are great, great wax melts. This one was... This one was good. Um, I think, you know, when I hear pumpkin apple, my mind immediately goes to Bath and Body because I love Bath and Body pumpkin apple. I mean, this one was still good. It was, it was, um, it was just different, you know, um, a lot more pumpkin than apple, but it was still really good through amazingly well. Man, I guess. Yeah, I was on some PPW kick last month because here is another clamshell in pumpkin pecan waffles from the Sugar Apothecary. Um, so the Sugar Apothecary probably will not um, do another order, at least, you know, no time soon because their stuff, it was so, so good and so strong on cold. I was really excited. And then... Um, I, I guess it just doesn't work in, in my home or in my warmers. I don't know. Maybe I use the wrong warmers. I don't know. Um, but I love the aesthetic of their company. So I definitely, you know, want to try them again. Um, I might just have to, I don't know, maybe try some different warmers next time. But it was okay. Just, you know, 
wasn't strong like I like my pumpkin pecan waffles. Went through another little scent shot of PPW from that Smell Good shop. Let's see. Okay. Um, let's see here. Uh, okay. This was a clamshell from The Burning Mitten. Love The Burning Mitten. That's another company that I definitely need to order from again. Um, this was in a muck, which was pumpkin marshmallow, pumpkin milkshake, and pumpkin sugared donut. Um, my last order that I did with the Burning Mitten was mainly like fall pumpkin scents. So I think I emptied out a lot of my Burning Mitten clamshells. This was really good. Um, very, you know, pumpkin-y, very bakery. Loved it. Uh, okay, clamshell here from Tuscany. Tuscany uh, from Kroger. This was Falling Leaves, Crushed Leaves, and Applewood. This was okay. I think I liked this more on cold than I did on warm. Um, because on cold, I really didn't get that applewood note, but it came out on warm. <laughs> um, which, you know, that's okay. Um, that was probably my fault, because I think I was just going off of my cold sniff, not even thinking, oh, you know, that's gonna change on warm, but it was okay. Just a little too outdoorsy for my liking but I do love Tuscany. Okay, this was a um, bag, El Grande bag from Centennial Chic Scents. This was an Oak Barrel Cider. Um, yeah, this one was good. Um, a huge bag, and I, you know, from Centennial Chic, this was in my order, I think where she had everything marked like 40% off, so this I got for a steal. Um, it was good. wasn't like the best cider scent I've ever had, but it was it was a nice apple cider scent. Um, just didn't last super long in my warmers, but it was still good. Um, this was a sample that I got last year when I ordered from Dessa's. Dessa's Homespun Scents. This was a little bunt in North Pole Bakery. Um, again, Dessa's was one of the vendors that I ordered from before I started making videos, but she's another one that I need to order from again because I loved everything that I melted from Dessa's, and this was no exception. This was a great Christmassy, kind of a berry scent that I had going in my kitchen. Loved it. I'm just checking the time. Okay, we're good. Um, okay, this was a, um, a little bag from my Fandoms and Fairy Tales order. Fandoms and Fairy Tales is on Etsy. They are a Disney wax shop. All of their melts are Disney themed, Disney related. And this was Holidays at the Resorts. This was iced gingerbread. Okay, you guys. Oh, yes, yes, so good. If you are a fan of Disney or your children are, you know, fans of Disney or you know someone who is a Disney fanatic like we are in this house, definitely check out this shop. Um, yeah, it's just the, the look of their shop is just so cute. Everything is just Disney-fied <laughs> a million percent. And the scents are spot on. Like, it just makes you feel like you're in the park. And this was great. Very, very authentic gingerbread. Loved it. Okay, another Tuscany clamshell in, oh my goodness, we are throwing clamshells over here. <laughs> this was spiced citrus, uh, orange clove and citrus. Yeah, ooh, I loved this one. Um, what I smelled on cold with this one was exactly what I got on warm. It was just, um, almost kind of made me feel like mold cider was on the stove. It was so good. Yeah, and this one was a great performer. Okay, might do these three clamshells and then I think I'm almost at 20 minutes. Does that say 20? Yeah, so then we'll stop and pick back up. Looks like this may be a four-parter. <laughs> okay, back to the burning the tin. Resting witch face. This was pumpkin pecan waffles, sugar cookie dough, and zucchini bread. 
Yeah, this one, oh my gosh, this one was really, really good. The Burning Mitten has a great PPW and a great zucchini bread. Um, I loved this. I would get this one again. Yeah, that was great. Wow, okay, I really was on some PPW kick last month because here we go again. PPW, uh, this was from ABC Country Primitives. They are an Etsy shop. So another one that I was just like, oh, I was kind of sad because I loved everything on cold with this company. But then again, in my home, in my warmers, it just didn't perform the way that I really was hoping it would perform. Um, so yeah, I don't know. But I love, again, the look of their company. Just everything about it was great. So I might order again and I might just have to like revamp my warmers in the new year. And then last one for this video is back to Scotland scents. This was Christmas cookie. Um, oh yeah, this was good. This was a very rich, buttery bakery cookie scent that I had going in my kitchen and it lasted all day. I loved it. And you know, really this I think could be used anytime because it didn't like just scream Christmas cookie. This is just such a good cookie scent. Yeah, it, you could use this any time of the year. So, okay, I am at 20 something minutes. So I am going to sign off for tonight and um, we'll pick back up tomorrow with part three. <laughs> I told y'all I went through so much wax. Y'all have a great rest of your night. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe, hit that like button, and come back and see me next time. And I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye guys, take care.